For more than 215 years, the remains of a Connecticut slave went unburied. And now, the story of the man fortune being told at a Waterbury Museum as part of Black History Month. News 8's LaSalle Blanks has the story. Fortune was considered the property of Dr. Preserved Porter. He worked on Porter's farm while Dr. Porter tended to his medical practice. Fortune drowned in an accident in the Naugatuck River. After his death, his owner dissected his body for anatomic study and never buried him. Porter's family held Fortune's remains for many years, then eventually donated them to the Mattituck Museum. I think it's so important for people. Jerry Conlogue of Quinnipiac University began an ambitious project using X-ray analysis and 3D imaging to examine Fortune's skeletal remains, hoping they would hold the key to what life was like for a slave here in Connecticut. My task is to find the secrets that are hidden in the bones. He says his work has been designed to give Fortune a voice more than 200 years after his death. Conlog says Fortune's bones revealed the struggle of this man's life. Emotionally, we don't know what his life was like, but physically, what kind of stresses was he exposed to? So if you take a look at the x-rays, he had some arthritis in his lower back indicating that he did a lot of manual labor. It wasn't until 2013 when Fortune was given a proper service at the state capitol and then a burial at the Riverside Cemetery in Waterbury. It was a proud and historic moment for many in the African-American community. We pray that this will continue on and we will uncover other interesting things about what has gone on in Waterbury, Connecticut. To indeed continue that understanding, a permanent exhibit about the life and death of Fortune is open to the public at the Mattituck Museum in downtown Waterbury. It's important for people in Connecticut and all over this country to have a real sense of what this country was like in the 18th century. Rachel Guest is a history buff in Waterbury. She agrees that this type of research and continued attention to Fortune's story could cause a different voice to emerge in our own minds when we think of the time when people were considered property. He was a man who was enslaved. It's a, you know, it's a mindset that is very different. His tombstone nestled in the St. John's plot simply says, child of God, free at last. In Waterbury, LaSalle Blanks, News 8.